gets too hungry for dinner at it. Welcome to Joe's Cooking Shack, sponsored by Zag Pollock. I want you guys to come with us today because we are in 1045 Tennessee witnessing the first real meal ever made. Joe, tell us, what do we got going on right here? <laughs> well, you're doing it again. Doing it again. We are making a cocoa man and Jarlsberg mashed potatoes with a little salad. Now, I'm, let's talk specifically about what we're going on right here. Right now, we're rendering the fat out of some beautiful apple wood smoked bacon. We're going to save the bacon and use the fat to fry up some chicken. Mmm, sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> now, take us around the fridge here, Joe. Well, as you can see, this is a 1937 classical um, refrigerator, refrigerator. It's a popular brand. And if you look to your right, we have Abe's tomatoes. He's had these for approximately four and a half months. <laughs> if you want to continue on the tour, we have some spicy mustard, supreme Caesar, and of course, a bowl full of shit. <laughs> That's my chili. Oh, sorry, Mrs. Pollock. <laughs> Joe, tell us uh, what do we got going on here. Uh, right now, I am cutting and peeling shallots and hoping I don't cry. Okay. And we are going to have cocoa van with uh, some Garlsberg whipped mashed potatoes. All right. Now, Joe, if you, you know, what's the motto of cooking you live by? The motto that I live by uh, quality ingredients leads to quality food. I think it's probably what I live by. Yeah, now, Joe, they say every chef has to have a good personality, right? And a good knife. And a good knife. Well, tell us about what you're using right here. Is this Ginsu? I wish it was Ginsu. It is, uh, it's Henkel, but it's not all that great. I could use a better knife. Okay. So, uh, that's our Chef Joe here for you tonight. Now I'm going to take you over, uh, show you the, uh, table. That's right, we got wine. We've got, uh, nice table settings, uh, etc. And uh, essentially, you know, the reason why I'm showing this is for all you mothers out there that raised us uh, boys here at 1045 Tennessee, you know, I just want to let you know we do know how to set a table. Here's it from a, a farther view. And for all you mothers out there, uh, especially Zach's mother, whom I haven't seen in a while, I will be giving Zach tips on cooking so you can have him cook for you. For I love it. I love it. Thank you so much, Joe. Okay. So, uh, and again, Joe? Okay, so right, we've got some applewood smoked bacon here. The recipe calls for salt pork, but I like the bacon because it gives it a smokier flavor. Salt pork's really salty and uh, not my favorite. Okay. Joe, tell us what we got going on now. Well, I cooked the veggies and the chicken, and I'm putting the chicken back in the pan. I'm going to add the wine and the beef stock and let it simmer for a couple hours. Now, what holiday are we commemorating? We're commemorating Purim, so we're going to get fucked up. <laughs> dish. He's making some coconut chicken with bacon things with some wine sauce, Hennessy thing, salad, mashed potatoes. It's going to be good. feeling right now? Joe, you are the best chef in the world. You're great. The food was good. Make it much go. Thank you, Joe. Joe, <laughs> close, close her out, Joe. Joe's Kitchen, what's it like? Oh, it's good, delicious, and I'm tired. I'm going home. <laughs> there you go. Him up. Let's, let's get a round of applause for him. <laughs> Bye, Joe. <laughs> Bye. Walk out. Walk Bye, out. <laughs> Get out. Get the fuck out. Get the out. fuck out.